Mamta Chamarthi, who has uh, always been a huge supporter of the Telangana ecosystem. Thank you, Mamta, for joining us today. Honorable <coughs> Member of Parliament from uh, Chevella, Dr. Ranjit Redigaru, to our Principal Secretary of Industry, Commerce, Information Technology, Jayesh Ranjangaru, to all the distinguished delegates who are participating in this uh, event today, the Mobility Next Hyderabad EV Summit. It's a matter of great pride, it's a matter of uh, great delight for me to inaugurate the first edition of the Mobility Next Hyderabad EV Summit being organized in the best city in India. And I say this in a very, very unabashed manner uh, to any of those who are from outside of India, to any of those who are from outside of Hyderabad as well. And by the way, this is not a self-certification that I'm, uh, you know, doing or indulging in. In fact, uh, Mercer, an agency that rates cities on the livability index, has rated Hyderabad as the best city among all Indian cities for five years in a row from 2015 until 2020. So therefore, welcome you all to the most livable city and the most lovable city in India. Climate sustainability is one of the most important agendas for governments and non-government organizations and for humanity at large across the world. Transport, public and private accounts for one-fifth of carbon emissions and road travel accounts for 75 percent of mobility emissions. It is important for us to plan the transition to cleaner and sustainable mobility to preserve the world for our future generations and ensure better quality of life for each and every citizen. Given the importance of this topic, I'm proud to announce that Hyderabad is hosting its e-mobility week, a week-long celebration of events to promote clean and sustainable mobility. This will be an annual fixture. It will this will be an annual fixture starting this year, so I think you should, uh, it deserves a bigger round of applause. Uh, it will be held every year to foster collaboration by bringing together the thought leaders, experts, and global automotive ecosystem players to chart a course of sustainable mobility for India at large. In addition to this summit, the Hyderabad e-mobility week also includes Rally Hyderabad, which was organized yesterday, the 5th of February, with an objective to promote electric mobility amongst citizens. And it saw a participation of more than 1,000 electric vehicles going on a procession in two different routes in the city. Hyderabad e-motor show will also be organized on the 8th of February, the coming Wednesday, which will provide a platform to the automotive companies, startups, and other large OEMs to showcase their next-gen EV models. To showcase the power of e-mobility, I'm also proud to announce that Hyderabad will be the first city in India to host the Formula E race happening on 11th of February. This e tree coming to Hyderabad and India for the first time ever is a testament to the direction of progress India has taken. Telangana, the youngest state in India, is already the hub for clean energy in India. State of Telangana is now the second largest producer of solar energy per unit land mass in the country. 20% of Telangana's energy output comes from solar. The state has already installed more than 5,000 gigawatts of solar energy. Telangana also asp aspires to become the most electrified state in the country in terms of mobility. We also were one of the early adopters of a focused, with a focused EV and ESS policy in 2020 with an objective to facilitate investments in electric vehicle and energy storage systems to also increase EV adoption in the state to also of course develop enabling infrastructure including charging stations etc. With this policy we endeavor to provide capital incentives, tax exemptions, subsidies and other support to companies investing in the state. The response from the industry has been overwhelming. The state has already attracted more than 8,000 crores of investment, more than a billion dollars of investments from leading Indian and global companies such as Electra, Mitra, Grafton, Pure EV, One Moto, Etrio, Ito, Light Auto, amongst others. The state has already emerged as a leading hub for automotive engineering, research and development 
in the world with investments from Stellantis, ZF, Hyundai Mobis, Micron, Bosch, Ficosa, amongst others. I'm proud to share that Hyderabad is leading in development of advanced automotive technologies in India, including ADAS, Digital Cockpit Solutions, V2X Connectivity, Automotive Cybersecurity, and others. To further accelerate the growth of sustainable mobility in India, I hereby announce India's first new mobility-focused cluster, the Telangana Mobility Valley. The Telangana Mobility Valley will create best-in-class infrastructure, making Telangana the most competitive destination for both manufacturing and research and development in this space. The vision for TMV has been created with active participation from the industry and academia. The state has also engaged one of the leading consulting firms, the Boston Consulting Group, to help conceptualize and develop a truly differentiated vision for the Telangana mobility. I'm thankful to BCG for all their support and for all their inputs. TMV also aims to facilitate companies across all segments of sustainable mobility. Electric two-wheelers, three-wheelers, four-wheelers and above. Advanced cell chemistry and hydrogen fuel cells. Tier 1 and Tier 2 component manufacturers and auto engineering research and development companies. The Telangana Mobility Valley has an audacious goal, has an audacious vision of attracting 50,000 crores of investment, about $6 billion of investments, and to generate about 400,000 new jobs, 4 lakh new jobs in the next five years. I know it sounds audacious, it sounds a bit ambitious, but I do believe it's immensely doable. For this, we've also identified four mega clusters in and around Hyderabad, which will be equipped with the state-of-the-art infrastructure to reduce cost of operations for the tenants. An electro electric vehicle manufacturing cluster in Zahirabad, an electric vehicle manufacturing cluster in Sitarampur in Chevilla constituency,